are at the Turtle Beach E3 2016 booth and we're checking out a really amazing new technology called the Hypersound Glass. We'll, we'll get on to the headset, gaming headset, new features and new products, but first let me show you this. Currently I'm hearing just a really low natural sound, but when I move here to the couch and I sit down I don't know if you're noticing that, that the sound is surrounding me right now. And this is because those glasses panel we have there and Kate here is going to tell us a bit more on how this works. This, this is kind of crazy for the first time. It is. It's, it's like magic. That's how we describe it, because that's kind of the sensation you get. And yeah. it's great being here and seeing the reactions of everyone come in. And it's hard to explain. You know, we, we'll do our best, uh, but it's hard to explain until you're sat here to experience it. So how does the technology actually work? Well, actually, it's um, it's directional audio. So uh, in a nutshell, we the best um, example we use is um, light. So if a traditional light bulb will spread light around the room whereas you've got a flashlight or a torch that sends a focused beam in one way it goes longer and it's more concentrated and that's what we do with hypersound for audio so whereas a, a traditional speaker will send sound everywhere throughout the room and the minute it leaves the source um, it starts you know some degradation there whereas hypersound is different it's a focused beam of sound and it's very concentrated and it's very clear and crisp and the clarity is you know is amazing as, as you've experienced here so trying to explain the uh, technology a bit farther sure. this requires like these uh, glass screens and then uh, this type of processor unit you that's right so um, our base technology of hypersound um, is currently out now in the hearing health market um, and how it works it's it's ultrasonic beams that are being emitted from the emitters and we'll show you just an example of what they look like in a moment um, and these emitters um, they send out ultrasonic beams which are they're so high frequency that they're beyond um, human hearing. We can't hear these, but we use our processor to inject sound into those waves that are coming. So the sound isn't necessarily made at the source, it actually gets made in the air, so around your ears, and, and which is why some people feel like they, they feel like they're there or they say the sound is in their head. It, the, you know, the sound, you start to hear the sound all around your ears, which I'm sure you've experienced. Yeah. Um, so yes, that combination of technology, um, the ultrasonic beams and our processors to be able to inject that audio into the wave is how you create how you create the audio. And we found, as a, a, a byproduct of that, we found that those high frequencies actually aid people with hearing loss. So it's the high frequencies that tend to start to lose when you're losing your hearing. And so at these frequencies they can actually hear that again so all the dialogue that that tends to be lost um, when you're losing your hearing they can hear once again so this can be used um, in tandem with um, an entertainment system or your tv to to kind of bring that bring that audio back and so you can once again without a hearing aid you can hear TV, you know, very clearly once. What again. type of, of tests are you performing in, in this uh, DEF uh, environment in order to help people? We've actually got a product out now. So, different from what we've seen today, I mean, today is very early, um, like we've explained, we, we, you know, it's, it's a really early technology that we've managed to apply our hypersound technology to. Um, to glass and we'll again I'll show you in a moment but and, and what you were hearing at the start of the interview that was actually all being um, all being admitted from one pane of glass on a on a monitor um, but in terms of the hearing health stuff there is a it's fully approved medically approved and it's actually being sold in audiologists today to help people so you know that is a it's a it's an existing product and it's out then we're getting some great feedback from people um, who are using it and getting back to the more uh, surround uh, sound experience sure. for for the general public, um, it's also really easy to, of course, to redirect direct the, the the audio, right? Absolutely. So as we as we were mentioning, it's actually a beam of sound. So the the, the beam is travelling. Um, so we're able to direct that beam 
Um, what, at the moment, we have it directed at, at the sofa where we're sitting now, but we can have that directed to the ceiling or to another person sat over there. And in terms of possibilities with a glass, obviously we can kind of, um, if we want to widen that out, we can widen the area, or if we want to bend the glass in, as many TVs do, you know, we've got curved screens now, you can, you can make that a bit more refined and closer. So we can kind of spread the how far or how narrow the beam can go, depending on how we manipulate the glass. So being this uh, like high frequency audio, of course, the only thing we would it may be lacking is a subwoofer in order to you know, get the punch there? Yes, of course. So what we're hearing is those very high frequencies. And so, you know, you could team this and as we do with our, you know, with our existing product with a, you know, a subwoofer to add those base to. But in what we've, we've shown today, we, we're kind of showing um, the possibilities of wherever there's glass, you can have audio. So in your phone, yeah. on, you know, TV screens, monitors, you know, anywhere really. Inside a car inside a car so you can have messages directed at you from your windscreen mm -hmm. so you know those th again we're, we're very early on this but the possibilities are, are there to be able to do it for the future how are you working with formats and standards uh, how are you for example translating this or uh, Dolby Digital standard to this well we this is our own proprietary technology at the moment so again we are, we're, we're not working in any way with anyone at the moment. We're literally at concept stage. So what we wanted to do was to show people yeah. that we have the technology. Uh, I'm just guessing that you can um, take a surround movie and put it into this kind of format? Yeah, absolutely. Anything you can, you know, you can watch on a regular television entertainment system you can you can have with this yeah and specifically into video games what do you think these can add to the experience well, i mean obviously we you know our company operates in that you know the the video game sector so you know we like we always like to think of different opportunities of what we can do but um I mean, obviously, we, we think you can have it in your monitor. You can be sat playing your games and then, you know, anyone around you can still be in the room. They can, you know, you're not disturbing them. They can do. But that's bad for headsets. <laughs> well, we like to, you know, we like to we like to push the innovation. So we're an, we're an audio company. So, you know, traditionally, so we like we like to dabble in all areas of audio. So, I mean, there, there will always be, you know, there will always be place, places where you need a dedicated headset, such as um, the esports sector, which, we, you know, we also have. Absolutely. You know, you, this wouldn't work in that environment. So, you know, we, we like to we like to play in all fields. Do you have uh, or have you planned a uh, consumer price, approximately price for, for this? Uh, unfortunately, no. Like Players, I mean, or for... Like I said, no, nothing at the moment. We are we are absolutely at the concept stage. And so, you know, we, we have had, a, you know, which we welcome a great deal of questions, a great deal of um, of kind of suggestions as well on how, how it can be applied or what people would like was to... Was the last see. minute addition to E3? It, it was. We, you know, we, we, we actually just got it in the office. And um, funny storage, we, we got an initial glass um, pane and someone dropped it <laughs> and so it, it, it was it was damaged before so we we didn't know if we were going to get it but our guys back at you know back at the lab managed to get it for us so we got it tuesday morning just before they've sent us a spare as well just in case we managed to break this one as well expecting the mirror the mirror talking to me in a couple of years absolutely <laughs> tell you how good you look <laughs> let's get into the headset properly uh you're presenting three products uh, at this year's show and we w we're going to need this for some years now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. So what we have here, we've got, we've got our um, VR headset. So it's our Stealth uh, 350 VR. And this is designed, obviously, talk of the show is VR. Um, this is designed to work with all VR goggles. So we've made it ultra light. You've already got something on your head. You don't need something really sort of weighing down on you there. Um, and it's the chassis is much bigger. It fits over. You've actually got... Um, ridges in the headset here so any straps are able to fit in there you know such as the Vive um, yeah. that goes through uh, ear cushions are like that so nice memory foam ear cushions to make sure they f they kind of adapt to whatever uh, straps that you're having to wear around your head uh, everything is can everything is accessible from the side so you can turn you know you can turn a device on and off um, You've got your volume controls, you've got your bass boost controls there, um, and you've also got 
a noise cancelling mic. So during VR, you know, you, you, you're bound to be moving around a lot, creating some unnecessary noise there. That would take that out of the equation or if something's going on in the background that may bring you out of that immersion of, of VR, then this will stop. Um, it's totally removable. So if you don't want a mic or, or you don't need a mic while you're playing, you can take that off. Um, and it's amplified. So the one thing about VR is, again, the immersion level. So if, you know, it, the, the solutions at the moment are, are kind of built-in ones or earbuds, which some are, you know, are might, might not be necessarily happy with. So now we've, you know, we've amplified the sound. We've, we've made it nice and loud. And, and, and in terms of connectivity, how do you connect these connect to the several wires. systems? connects his wires um, so any w the system will be made to fit all the wires so you take take whatever ones you've got out if you've got multiple systems and and plug straight back into there from there do you have a date and a price for this one we're looking around um, our usual release window is they say in America is the fall so it's sort of September October around um, and this is in terms of price point in the UK uh, this is 59 and it will be 79 59 pounds and and 79 euros yeah exactly next next we have our streaming mic so obviously you know a, a, a big point of the gaming industry now you know we see a lot of streamers youtubers podcasters even journalists even <laughs> and so we this is our new mic um around the same release uh, timings here um, and what we've got here is it's made to be a, a kind of out of the box solution for any streamer there it, it plugs into any format so it's playstation and pc and what's unique about this one is it also does xbox um, at the moment there's no other people being able to take the stream from xbox because um, just because of the the way the audio works there but we've we've managed to crack that on there and it's got optimized settings for um, for each format that you play. It's also got a headset monitor, sort of a zero lag monitor, so you can hear exactly what you're streaming out to um, to others. So you can hear your game volume, your voice volume, and you can make the adjustments there. It's got, it's got uh, processing in there, so there's no need for any kind of separate PC processing um, on there. Although it does come, you can get some software to download as well if you want to do some tweaks to, to any of the um, the voice settings as well, and it's designed. You can have it, you can have it on on your desk, or you can take these off, and it can be a, a boom mic as well from there. And it's mainly, um, you know, um, aimed at one-on-one -on -one streaming thing, or you can use it. Absolutely. I don't know for so interviews or for more can. people. You can change the mode. It's I don't know. We're taking the technology that we've we've kind of been developing in our mics for our headsets that help to identify whether the source is coming from and this will help to do that as well so if we're in a group here and and we're all talking it, it will uh, the processing power in there will help to identify where those voices come price from. point for this one this is um 79 pounds and 99 euros mm -hmm. and we'll again we'll be out around that same time mm -hmm. and on to the next one and our final one today we've left it over yeah. here <laughs> we've actually got our elite pro so um, this was this was actually released um, a few days ago, so Sunday, um, and this is this is our our tournament grade headset. So this is the the result of three years of of R and D into into the esports world and and asking teams and um, individuals of what will, what do they want from a tournament grade headset? What is going to help them perform better over long periods of time? And they say the result is this. So what we can see here is our tension system on the head. Now this isn't designed to be, you know, go from a, a vice grip to, you know, loosen. It, it's actually just varying degrees of tension. So if you're, if you're playing for hours on end, um, you can start to kind of play with the tension on, on how you want it. You know, you, you want to release that on there. Um, and some real innovation within the ear cups. So we asked what you know the real problems were with with you know extended periods of play, and it was heat, build up of heat on your head. You know you've got a headset on there the whole time. So we've actually got a cooling gel built into those cups, um, and that you know that system allows it to to stay cool the whole time you're playing. We've got 
We've got a, a leather in and out to, to pro provide additional kind of noise cancellation, but on there, and this is also a fabric that helps kind of dissipate the heat and, and, and take the sweat away. Another, another um, issue with wearing a headset for a long time, particularly those with glasses, is that this will clamp onto you exactly. So what we've managed to do here, you can take the ear cup off, excuse me, and there's a little tab just here. So you pull that tab, and it actually creates, I don't know if you can see that, it actually creates a, and you can feel that there. So that creates a ridge for glasses to sit in, so the pressure is not built up while you're gaming. And, and, and it's, a, it's an actual innovation we've been asked, um, been asked our, our fans have been asking for, for a long time, and we, we're so pleased that we've managed to get it into this one. It's one that's getting some, some great feedback as well. And in terms of audio quality? Audio quality, it's got our 50 mil speakers in there. These are our, our top speakers in here. And, and what you've got this as a, a standalone headset, but we've also built a kind of ecosystem around that. And so what that means is we've also got our tactical audio controller. So this is our, you know, a mix amp, if you will, designed to look, you know, like a, you know, a, a, as simple as possible. Actually, we've stripped everything out of there to help sort of tournament players you know, get, get the features they need when they need it. So simple dial on the front for master volumes. You've got, you know, your game and chat mix and your mic levels in terms of the communication, you know, when they're playing. So that's all important for those guys. And as you mentioned, the, the sort of technology that's linked up, this has got a 7.1 surround sound card in. So DTS Headphone X, which we've, you know, we've used before in one of the first game headsets to use that technology. And you can program presets in there for your s different games and different modes in games, all at a fingertip to be able to do. And then you have got, um, you've got, you can link these together. Um, you can daisy chain these together via Ethernet. Um, and so, if you want a local LAN network, you can do that. And finally, you have this. Uh, I was asking about connectivity and uh, platform supported, but oh, absolutely. So we've got. A a connector switch there for PC, Xbox, and uh, PlayStation. So th they're optimized for each one. From and are these two so, uh, sold together? Separately. So what we wanted to do is we, we didn't, you know, not everyone is going to need these. You know, depending on your level of ability and how you want to, uh, how you want to go in the tournaments, then um, the then these are separate. You can buy them separate as you can with the various other. I mean, these are yeah. these are some other options here. You know that. Absolutely. So we've got an amp, we've got an audio adapter for the older Xbox controller, and we have a, a special noise cancelling mic as well. And this is really for that tournament play that you know can to, can drown out all that noise and do it. So it's really built to to kind of you know however you want to however you want to play. So if you just want the headset and later you feel like you want to start the competitive side of things, then the options are there to do it. And, and we've got eSports teams currently, some of the best in the world, um, um, Optic Gaming, FaZe Clan, we had them on the booth uh, earlier in the week, and those guys are, are, are using this now in, in tournament play, and, and, uh, and we're getting some great feedback from those guys. All right, price, uh, price point for this too? Price point, we've got 169 pounds, and I believe it's 199. Again, I'll go and double check for euros. I've got pounds in my head. Okay, um, no one, 149 um, pounds, and I believe 179 euros. Um, but if you if you look around, we are doing kind of bundles where you know if you want to get the, the things together, then they'll obviously be price specific for that as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your time, Kate. No problem. Thanks for coming along.